A Brief History of the Smallpox Vaccine by Dashiell Watson. In Europe in the 18th century, smallpox killed 400,000 people each year. It seemed so unstoppable, people felt it was just a natural part of life. Good day, Mr. Finch. Good day, Mr. Watson. Did you hear Mr. Radley died of smallpox? Oh, well, another one bites the dust. In 1718, Lady Mary Montagu learned about a custom in Turkey to inoculate against smallpox. It was called... Verilation! You take a bit of pus from the infected person's arm. Then you make three slits in the arm of the person who's being inoculated. And add the pus. Presto, immunity. Or death. But mostly immunity. Because Lady Mary had been a victim of smallpox and her brother had died from it, she decided to get her five-year-old son verilated. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Yay again! Soon she left Turkey and sailed to England. When she got back, she told everybody. They were fascinated, but suspicious. But Lady Mary didn't give up. She convinced the king to loan her three prisoners to verilate. And it was a success. The king was convinced. King! king! The king decreed that all the people in England should get verilated. And by all the people, he meant only the rich people. Luckily, Edward Jenner's family was rich. So he and all his schoolmates were verilated. It was the talk of the school. Everybody was excited. During all the chatter, a milkmaid, who just happened to be at the school, overheard Edward and his friends talking and told them she didn't need any of that crazy virulation stuff because she had had cowpox, so she was immune. Ha! And by crazy, she meant that 3% of the people who were virulated got smallpox from the procedure and died. Yep. Jenner never forgot what the milkmaid said. Cowpox. Cowpox. Cowpox! When he grew up, he realized he should investigate because no one dies of cowpox. And he discovered she might be right. So he used his gardener's son as a test subject. First, he verilated him with cowpox. Then after some time had passed, he verilated him with smallpox. Huh? And nothing happened. Success! He told all his sciencey friends about it. But everyone was suspicious. So Jenner chose another test subject, a rich guy's son named James. And he didn't die! Success! Chapter 2. Word spread of the amazing cure, and everyone wanted it. Jenner was inoculating people like crazy for free in his backyard. And going broke. But the king was a fan and gave him lots of money so he could keep England free of smallpox. Jenner declared this new technique of using a weakened version of a virus vaccination because vodka means cow in Latin. He's considered to be the father of immunology. Yay, Edward Jenner! Smallpox was completely eradicated in 1980. This only happened because people all over the world were willing to get vaccinated. Please consider this when you are debating whether to get vaccinated or not. It's only when we work together and believe in the cure that we can defeat these deadly viral diseases and stop global pandemics.